I don't think you're supposed to celebrate on the first point. What's up everybody? Welcome to another edition of BTW. Well, it is late summer here in New York City and one of the quintessential events this time of year is the US Open. And I am going to be checking out some of that action with a few soccer friends. But before that, I am here at the Perfect Serve event sponsored by Heineken, where I am gonna chat with tennis legend, Lindsay Davenport. She's gonna give me the inside scoop on what I cannot miss at the US Open. I might even try my hand at a little tennis and of course, enjoy a little Heineken. So I brought along a very special guest with me today, uh, Kaylin Carr. I brought gifts. You did bring gifts. How's your tennis game? Um, I never play, but I love tennis. I think it's kind of like soccer. When I watch Federer, it feels like Messi. He's kind of got this idea where you don't know what he's going to do next, uh -huh. but then you have the machine of Nadal that's a little bit more like Cristiano. I don't know if you see, but Lindsay Davenport is right there. Oh, I saw. And yeah. um, I think we're both going to try our hands at returning a serve. Yeah. I am not feeling so confident about this because I I haven't held a tennis racket in about 10 years. Yeah, I'm not feeling great either. I know she was the world number one eight times. Yeah, she also won the US Open, so you know. All right. Ha! Yes, I'm ready. Oh my gosh. We've been doing the mental imagery. We've watched the videotapes of, of all your matches, so we know we're in trouble. Okay, here we go. Yes! Not bad. Okay, so Lindsay. Yes. The US Open. I know you have some really amazing memories. 1998 yeah. comes to mind. What are some of the things that come to mind when you think about this tournament? It was a tournament I grew up watching. When I first got out there as a teenager, like it was beyond my wildest expectations that one day I would be the winner. And you know, 1998 came around. At that time I was 22. Uh -huh. And it was truly the greatest moment of, of my career. We gotta talk a little bit of, of soccer here. So we just had this big tournament. Yes, yeah, I, I, I think we recall what Women, so, World Women's Cup. Women's World it? Cup, <laughs> Women's World Cup. The US ladies just dominated. How cool is it for, as a female athlete to see women like that on such a big stage and having that much success? It's amazing what you go through in women's sports. Mm -hmm. And we were very lucky in tennis at Billie Jean King. And these players are going to be remembered forever for fighting for what they believe in and for equality. It was awesome to see them just kick butt. OK, I, I tried my hand at tennis. Oh, no, you're not, not going to make well. me. Just a little, oh, just a little oh, bit oh, of soccer you're tennis. You're going to make me Which is actually, honestly, I think I'm probably, I might even okay, be worse at that. tennis, explain that. Literally, you're just kicking a soccer ball over the net. We're going to bring Kalen back in the fray for this. He's the former player, so. Yeah, I need him. He's better I at this than both of us. All right, deal. Yes. Uh, yes. Come on. Oh. Okay, here we go. Oh, that's you. Hey! Yeah! <laughs> that was about as good as it's going to get for me. Yes. yes! So impressive. It. That was amazing. Cheers to you guys and cheers to the US Open. Yeah. Yes. So I made it to the US Open and uh, unfortunately, weather gods not really cooperating with us today. It is raining pretty darn hard, but that doesn't mean we aren't going to have a great day. I am meeting up with NYCFC's Anton Tinnerholm and we are going to have a fun day full of tennis. Let's go. There he is. There he is. Hey Anton. Hi, how are you? I'm fine, how are you? Are you ready for some tennis? I'm so ready for it. It's raining. But that's it not going to stop us no, from having a good time, right? And uh, no I think we should go grab a few beers before we uh, take in some of these matches. What do you say? Yeah, let's go. Let's do it. We made it to the Heineken suite, so I feel like it's only appropriate that we have a little Heineken. Cheers. Cheers. True story. Last week, I had a chance to play a little tennis with Lindsay Davenport. I had to yeah. return her serve, and I hadn't picked up a racket in like 10 years. But I got two back. So I was oh, pretty, really? pretty darn proud of myself, Anton. Oh, it was good. a big, 
big achievement. But yeah. you know, you're you're from Sweden, and you were really into tennis. I used to play, uh, but I was like when I was a kid, so I felt like tennis was a really fun fun sport, but. Mm -hmm. It got a little bit too much individual for me. I want the team sport. I'm gonna say this, Anton. I think it worked out for you. I think you chose the correct, the correct path. I hope path. so. I hope so. Uh -huh. You never know. Maybe I would have been here. We've got some tennis going on yeah. outside, so let's go check it out. That was close. That was real close. joining me today in the suite, the Heineken suite. I hope you've had fun at the US Open. Yeah, my pleasure. Um, we should do this every year, now we that you're going to be in town exactly. for a few more years. Year. Congratulations on all the good stuff happening too, man. Well Thank deserved. you very much. Can't Thanks wait to see you guys in the playoffs. And uh, now we have more beer to drink and more tennis to watch, so. <laughs>